Hello there and welcome to Black Jackal Gaming. Range of tough vehicles for 10th edition. There's been a bump up in the overall toughness, new abilities added, objective control is surprisingly high, explosions have seen a small tweak, and we take a look at the data sheet for the humble Rhino. So toughness has gone up in all vehicles in 10th edition, we should see their dramatic return to the battlefield as they will no longer die to a stiff breeze and should stick around for large parts of the battle. We'll take a quick look at the new profile for the Rhino, it has been given a huge bump up to toughness 9, making it much harder to damage with anti-infantry weapons. The weapons are pretty much as expected. The Humble Bolter carrying the same stats over from 9th, Rapid Fire 2, Strength 4, 0 AP and 1 damage. It comes with a single fire hunter killer missile, packing an impressive Strength 14. This also fires with a ballistic skill of 2 plus, so the expectation is that it will mostly hit the target and do a fair bit of damage at minus 3 AP and D6 damage. Melee is pretty much as expected, 3 attacks at weapon skill 4, strength 6 and a little damage, not really what it's there for. The smoke keyword has already been added so it no longer costs 5 points to upgrade, looks like this will still be linked to a stratagem. It comes with 2 points of objective control, giving it a nice little extra punch for grabbing some late objectives. We see some new abilities added for 10th edition, with 2 core abilities and 1 datasheet ability. The 2 core abilities are firing deck, which will allow the unit to fire when within the transport. The number is for how many models can fire. This can be really useful for squads such as devastators as you can protect your anti-tank weapons for longer in the game. Armies such as Drakari and Harlequins would really benefit with this core ability as I expect the number of models being allowed to fire to be much higher. Deadly Demise is the ability linked to exploding on death. Much the same as previous editions but rather than having an ability and a whole sentence dedicated to it on the datasheet, you now get a keyword and the dice type required to roll for mortal wounds. No info released on distances so far but I expect it to remain at 6 inches. The datasheet ability allows the Rhino to heal one wound in each of your command phases. This should let them stick around for longer and potentially set up a healing pool somewhere with a tech marine so you can keep pumping your Rhinos back into the thick of it. We get a sneak peek at some of the other profiles for space marine vehicles. Across the board the toughness has gone right up with even the storm speeder being boosted toughness 9 from their previous toughness 6. Gladiators have been boosted to toughness 10 with the repulsor going up to a mighty toughness 12. I expect further abilities on the profile to buff them up even more. Objective secure is incredibly high for these units with the repulsor having a massive 5. Sit this bad boy on objective and he will be tough to move. The storm speeder looks like a great utility piece, packing a fair few weapons, movement 14, toughness 9. Coupled with the objective control 3, they should be able to really nip around the board and help contest or flip objectives. GW have hinted about degrading being lowered, as it really made vehicles pretty useless in ninth. Now they will mostly see their ballistic skill lowered when they hit a third of their health. This should keep them operational for larger parts of the battle. It looks like GW have really had a good think about vehicles and really tried to make them tougher and play more of a key role in contesting parts of the battlefield. We won't really know how this will play out until we see more units, as there might be still too many killy units in the game, making them not worthwhile taking. Thank you for watching the video, if you have any comments then pop them below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video then please hit the like button as it greatly helps the channel, hit the subscribe button to see any future Warhammer content. Take it easy and see you next time for more grim darkness from the 41st millennium.